Hi, I'm Michael Wildenstein, Farrier and Farrier Educator, and I'm here to talk to you about Diamond Tools from Diamond Farrier Company. First, I'm going to talk about uh, the tools you might use to trim a horse's hoof. And you're going to need a caddy, some form of uh, piece of equipment to carry your tools around. We'll start with the rasps. You need the rasp and the rasp handle. And a rasp cuts one way, and that's away from the, the handle. We have a coarse side and we have a smooth side. The coarse side is for the rough work on the hoof, taking off greater amounts. Smooth side would be finishing that up and also clinching or the final process if the horse is being shod. I carry two rasps. One I use exclusively a fresh rasp for the hoof because it's sharp. I'm using it on the, the horse's hoof and after I've worked on so many horses it becomes more dull then I'll move it to the other side so I'm just using it when I'm clinching up or rasping against metal. In trimming the horse's hoof wall you'll need nippers. There's a 14 inch economy nipper a 15 inch nipper and a 12 inch nipper. If I'm working on ponies, small horses, race horses or I have small hands I may decide to use the 12 inch. For larger horses where well, you'll need more material to bite in and more length to the reins you'll want a 15 inch for the heavy horses. If you're not making a profession of it and need a nipper to trim occasionally, the economy nipper may be the choice that you make. We'll also need hoof knives. There's a narrow blade, there's a wide blade, there's rights and lefts. And when we hold that knife, we'll put our palm up put the knife in our hand and hold it like that and then I direct the blade with my thumb. I use a right and a left handed knife. I use the uh, right handed when I'm trimming the sole and when I'm trimming around the frog I use the left hand knife to come up one side. two hammers available, a 10 ounce and a 14 ounce. 10 ounce for your smaller average draft saddle horses and a 14 ounce if you're going to do heavier horses, say draft horses. A nail cutter a clinch cutter for cutting the clinches and cleaning out nail holes on the other end rounding hammers a pound and a half and two and two pounds if you need a lighter hammer for smaller shoes or because the weight is sufficient for you to move the material you're you're moving or the heavier hammer a pritchel for cleaning out nail holes and tongs for holding on to the horseshoes while you're making modifications to that shoe. There's also a crease nail puller and that crease nail puller will reach into the crease, you'll be able to grip onto the nail and pull the nails individually. And clinchers. The clincher is to bend the nail over as it exits the hoof wall. Bend it over and put it against the hoof wall. There's three different clinchers. This is a saddle horse clincher. 
This is the gooseneck clincher. And this is the farrier clincher. This clincher is designed for the high nails. This clincher is designed for lower nails, say ponies or racehorses. And the saddle horse clincher is average everyday work that you would do.